I would love to see within the BRICS and separately, China and India cooperating on some of these things a lot more. Because if you look at how they've emerged the past 20 years, and if you look at the world the next 20 years, if China and India get their own trade cooperation right, it would literally transfer, literally, without any exaggeration, transform patterns of global trade. And that would be the basis of so many other positive things that would happen. The contradictory part is, of course, and that's my second point, is that we need to have uh, more and more sophisticated trade agreements to deal uh, with the rules in which we all engage with each other around the world. But it is not as important as making sure the countries that are behind those trade deals want to see uh, the opportunities being equally shared between them around the world. Absolutely. I mean, the BRIC countries should really uh, have a, a further collaboration. I mean, they are already, uh, you know, very, very uh, uh, important in the players. And uh, I think that uh, particularly, as you mentioned, China and India, I mean, <laughs> being a bit two largest neighbors, I mean, have a similar <laughs> 1.3, 1.4 billion people. And there are so many reasons that we, we should collaborate uh, for the BRICS uh, countries. Like, that's what the president, she said, you know, at the BRICS summit, the multilized and we should support and collaborate and, uh, and work together.